Hi everybody, it's Jill Blanchett with Green Thumb Stampers. It's Friday. It's time for another Finally Friday video. And today I am going to teach you about kissing. It's an old technique. I really, really, um, I don't want to say struggled, but I struggled to find good stamps to do this technique with because um, it's not as easy as it was back in the old days. And I'll show you what I mean here when I get started. So let's go. All right, so let's get started. And I want to explain what I uh, said a minute ago about my struggle with trying to get a stamp set to use. This technique, you're actually going to um, kiss two stamps together. So you want to pick a solid image, and we don't, I shouldn't say we don't, I don't have many solid images nowadays in my current stash. I feel that we tend to go more with the open images because we have the beautiful blender pens for coloring and not so much coloring is needed with the solid image stamps obviously so if you happen to have older style stamps older images where there is more solid flowers and whatnot this perfect this technique is perfect for that because you're going to take your solid image and then as the case I have here I have this and um, leaf and this chunk of the tree um, you want to take a pattern and bring the two pieces together to make another pattern over the um, or make the pattern over the top of your solid so let me get started and show you what I'm talking about it's just a great way to um, change up your stamps that you do have and um, be able to create the same flower in a bajillion different ways because you've got numerous uh, textured stamps or fine lined stamps that you could use to shake that solid image up into something else. So I've got the couple with the umbrella. You want to use two colors of ink. You want a light color for your base and you want a dark color for your um, design or darker, darker than what you're using here. Probably a complementing color would be awesome. So I'm going to start with a Blushing Bride as my base color and then I'm using the words from the very Versailles set. Oh, I got some tongue twisters. The words. Keep in mind, if you use some words, be aware of how big they are because they're going to be backwards because you're going to stamp them down onto the block or your image and then you're going to flip it over. So you're going to end up reversing it because once you stamp it down, you're going to be able to read it. Then you're going to flip it over and you're not going to be able to read it. It's going to be backwards. So you might be able to see this, uh, what I'm talking about with this one when I, after I stamp it. So I've got Blushing Bride down and I just talked too long so I might need to ink it back up because it, it could have dried up a little bit. Then I'm going to ink up the words from the very Versailles in Poppy Parade, which again is a darker color, complimenting. And because this one is smaller than like a background stamp that we have, I kind of want to make sure I'm placing it over the stamp. If it's a bigger stamp, you don't have to worry about it. Bigger than the image. So I'm stamping that down. You can probably see that on there. I've got a cat hair on it. If you wait too long, <laughs> huff on it. And then just put it down on the paper. And there you go. You now have, let me pull it up close. You now have K 
kiss the two stamps together and then when you put it down your solid image is now a completely different image according to what design um, stamp you put you kissed on it oh and let's see you might be able to see that it's backwards you can't read it you might not be able to read it the other direction either but you could definitely you know if you're looking close enough you could see that the words are backwards so just keep that in mind um, I've got right here when I was goofing around I did thinking of you because I thought how cool that would be it goes this way thinking of you so it goes completely backwards and as you can see I tried different um, ideas I got the a flower um, from the painted poppy set that worked out okay uh, you could cut that out then and pop that up somewhere I tried um, the flower a flower design from I don't see it here I don't know I have a whole stack of sets out so I just I was playing around goofing around here's another one that I did with the um, rooted in nature tree trunk and then the uh, leaf branch from the very Versailles gave it a different look and I'm going to show you one more um, with the rooted in nature that I thought turned out really cool be a great for if uh, for masculine card and I'm going to show you I'm not going to use green I'll show you um, here's what I was going to show you um, and I did it in green and then early espresso but I'm going to show you using um, crumb cake because after I did that one I thought crumb cake might be kind of a nice color to, to use. Now my crumb cake is really super juicy. If yours is really super juicy you might decide that you want to stamp off and I'll, I think I do want to stamp that off or at least start I'm going to I don't want it that juicy that was already way dark because I talked and stamped it down on there way too many times so let's see if I can get it in one that looks better and then I'm gonna take my early espresso and this leaf stamp and randomly precisely ink it up and stamp it down on so instead of using one big image, I'm putting a bunch of little ones on there. And there you go. I still got some good coverage on there. I don't know. Let's see what we get if we did it again. Push it down real quick. Now this is going to lighten up when it dries. It's very, uh, the crumb cake is really dark, but it's going to lighten up when it dries. Nah, I'm not a big fan of a second uh, stamp off image of it, but maybe I'll see when it dries. But that's it, guys. That's our kissing technique. You're going to kiss two stamps together and then put it on your paper. You need a solid image and two colors. Of ink a light and a dark and have fun with it if you give it a try post them let us see what you've got and that's it have a great rest of your Friday have a super duper weekend and I'll see you back here next Friday for another finally Friday video this is what these two looked like after they dried for a few minutes just wanted to put this in there so that you could see that the uh, top one did lighten up somewhat and the bottom one isn't too shabby you could still use that on a project if you wanted to